Hello, this is my clay project. This is my clay fox. I did a fox for this project for the rhythm to proportion uh, project four, part two. This is the part two. This is my final product. I did a fox. Here's a photo that uh, I based my project on. It's by Nick Mackman, who's based out of the United Kingdom. He specializes in animal sculptures. And for this project, I was inspired because I looked at Professor Luff's examples and someone did a sculpture of a rabbit. So I'm passionate about animals. My parents have a golden retriever, so I chose a fox. And here is the sculpture that I chose online. It's off his website. Here is a sketch that I did, a naturalistic sketch of the fox. Here's another sketch I did. And here is another sketch I did for the fox. Here is my final product. Uh, for this project, uh, my, the positives of this project are I was able to do the fur really well with the uh, with a toothpick. I did the fur, and then as we turn around, I did the ears, the eyes, and the nose, and I used the spiral coil method to do this project. Uh, I had the legs, and then I have a tail. Uh, for the uh, feet, uh, I used a toothpick for each leg. I put it up in there, so that let it made it stand up. And I did a a, a base for the uh, fox, and we'll just zoom in. Got the legs right there, the body with the toothpick. Got the ears, the eyes, the nose. There's the tail. And the uh, the positives I have on this project is, it was really, there's my name, it was really interesting to do a fox for this project, but the negatives I have for this project is that my fox kind of looks more like a bear or like a different animal uh, because I feel like proportionally I made it kind of big, but uh, this was the best that I could do. Uh, if I were to redo this, I'd probably would have made it uh, smaller, but uh, as you can see, it, it kind of has its head cocked up. It's got the legs, it's got the tail, and uh, there's a little side view of it. Let's get the face. And uh, overall, I thought this was interesting working with the clay. The clay was kind of messy. It'd get all over my hands, and it was kind of frustrating at points to make the shape, but I think this turned out very well, even though it kind of looks uh, like a different animal besides a fox. I mean, if I would have made it smaller, it probably would have looked more like a fox, but uh, it's got the tail and the proportions and the head's cocked up and it looks sort of like the photo. And this is my project and thank you. Have a great day.